In today's video, we're going to be having a look at adding members to a request. So I'm just going to start from my uh, request list and open up one of my existing incidents. Over on the right hand side, we have a section labeled members. This is where we can add uh, other participants that may help out with resolving this issue. So I'm just going to type in James here and we have a, uh, another support member uh, called James Ford. I'm just going to click on add. Uh, now we see that James has been added to the member section and we also record the fact that he's been added into the timeline. So now James has the ability to participate in the resolution of this particular request. We now log into the system as James. Uh, he can then go to his request list. Uh, so here we see his uh, normal uh, queue, uh, but he can select from his list to view just uh, the requests that he's a member of. And by clicking on that, he can see uh, uh, and perform all the actions against this incident and participate with the resolution. Now, logging back into the system as Daniel, I can go back to my request list. And in this uh, case, I'm going to raise a new request. So we have a customer uh, by the name of Anna who's uh, phoned in. And uh, she's reporting an issue with one of the cloud servers where she can't uh, connect to the, uh, to the server. Okay, we're just going to click on Next. And we have a, a cloud services available to us uh, to select. And I'm going to raise an incident. And we also have the option to assign it to a particular team. So again, I'm going to assign this out to James Ford. And we're going to have a look at this request. So now we can see that this has been assigned to the cloud team and to James Ford as the owner. But because I raised the request, it's included me as a member so I can continue to help uh, with the progress and also to keep a track of any updates. And to uh, keep track of this, I can uh, also go back to my uh, list of all the requests where I'm a member.